Hello everyone, I am Dr. Fahima Hassan, Consultant Hemato-Oncologist, Assistant Professor, Department of Hematology, SGPGI. Today I am going to make use of this opportunity to talk about blood cancer and its awareness. Since this is the month of September, I want to ensure that the awareness of this common cancer reaches everyone and everyone. So what is blood cancer? Blood cancer is a type of cancer that affects cell lines of blood which arises from the bone marrow. So bone marrow is a part from where all types of blood cells arises, the white blood cells, the red blood cells and the platelets and they all arise from a common progenitor or common mother cell called the stem cells. So there are three types of blood cells, red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets and there are various types of cancers which affects all these types of cells. The most common of the blood cancers we will be talking about today are acute leukemias, lymphomas and myelomas. How common is blood cancer in India? In the last year, a survey showed more than 1 lakh cases of blood cancer reported from our country. So I think it's very imperative that we are all well aware of this disease. So how does a patient with blood cancer present to us? It can be any age. It is a misconception that it's only seen in the young children. But even adults and very old also can present with blood cancer. They can present with a variety of symptoms. So I have already said you blood is made up of three kinds of cells, white cells, red blood cells and platelets. So white cells are necessary for preventing your body from getting any kind of infection. So if it affects your white cells, you get a recurrent infections, fever and this is one kind of presentation of acute leukemia. And if it uh, affects your red blood cells, it can present with anemia or reduced hemoglobin. Patients with anemia present with easy tiredness weakness, ability to do their daily activities and when it affects your platelets, it presents with bleeding. We all know platelets prevent us from bleeding. So what are the ki kinds of blood cancer? When it affects your WBCs, it is called leukemia. So it can be acute or it can be chronic leukemias. So there are two types of acute leukemias, acute lymphoblastic leukemia and acute myeloid leukemia. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia is more common in children and acute myeloid leukemia is very common in adults. But unlike most cancers where we know there are some risk factors, the risk factors for leukemias are less known or very less studied. Of course, when there is a family history of cancer, we should always be aware that there is a higher chance of us getting any kind of malignancy. In leukemias, it is not very well established what kind of risk factors we have to cause this disease. So what happens when a patient gets blood cancer is because you get reduced WBCs, reduced RBCs, reduced platelets because all these are formed in the bone marrow. So the patient can present with infection, fever, chills, weakness and also pain, joint pain because these leukemic cells tends to go and deposit in the bones and joints and also because the lymphoblastic leukemias occur, occur from a kind of cells called lymphocytes they also home to lymph nodes so the patient can have cervical swelling that is neck swelling any form of swelling in the neck axilla or near the inguinal region so these are the multiple presentations of your leukemia or lymphoma so what are the tests a doctor will do when you have these symptoms they will first look at you do a proper history taking that is they will present they will examine and ask you for what are the symptoms you are presenting with and then they will get a basic routine blood test done after examination which might include a CBC, a liver function test, a renal function test and if necessary a bone marrow aspiration and biopsy is also done and then we do something called a flow cytometry where we can identify the type of cells which is causing the leukemia. So these are the basic tests which are done to diagnose leukemia. So how can we treat blood cancers? Different kind of blood cancers I have already spoken to you about acute lymphoblastic leukemia, acute myeloid leukemia, it is treated very differently and the what kind of therapy is to be given is dependent on the patient's age, the health status, the underlying diseases he has and what our target of therapy is. So how can we reduce the risk of blood cancer? There are no clear cut evidence to say doing these and these will reduce blood cancer specifically but it is very important that all of us should have a healthy lifestyle have a very good uh, dietary intake and also do uh, regular exercises to make sure that we have a very running and a very dynamic lifestyle and reduce your stress and reduce eating of you know processed foods 
So that is not only going to reduce the risk of blood cancer in specificity, but also it decreases the incidence of any or any cancer which can occur to the body. So most of the cancer occurs due to the mutation which we acquire due to n number of causes. The most of causes are not known. But living a healthy lifestyle, having a good dietary habit and having a really active lifestyle can reduce all the risks of almost all the cancers or any diseases which we can acquire during our lifetime. So which symptoms should trigger you to go to a doctor or a hematologist? Excessive weakness, recurrent fever, noticing any lymph node which is persistent for more than 3 to 4 weeks or bleeding manifestation like even if a small kind of an impact you are having on your hands you are getting increased bleeding or spontaneous bleeding or bruises in your body bleeding while you are brushing the teeth recurrent bleeding non stoppable bleeding headache nausea vomiting recurrent nausea vomiting headache and generalized weakness should always trigger you to go to a doctor and even a local physician and they will do a routine workup and decide whether they need further evaluation by a hematologist or not. The most important thing I want to drive in this blood cancer awareness month of September is the importance we should give to caregivers. Caregivers or the relatives and family of patients diagnosed with blood cancer who look after them. They undergo a lot of health issues, a lot of mental issues. So it is very important that we realize the importance of these caregivers and ensure they have a good lifestyle and also a good mental health so that they are able to deliver utmost care to our patients with leukemias and lymphomas. So what kind of care should be given to patients with leukemias and lymphomas especially after diagnosis and while they are undergoing therapy. The patients are very prone to all forms of infections during this stage even at diagnosis or while receiving therapy. So what we would suggest is that they always eat home cooked foods with very minimal of oil or very very minimal of uh, uh, masalas or herbs in the food and we also suggest that all water that is drunk is always boiled or oro uv filtered so that they don't acquire any form of infections via the food they take also it's very important that they are always masked especially in the era of covid and they always should wear an N95 mask and they should avoid crowded places and contact with anyone who is outside and entering with a proper product production. And it is also important that not only the patients diagnosed with leukemia and lymphomas but also the caregivers follow these precautions and they are always masked and they drink and eat healthy foods cooked from home and filtered water.